A warm welcome to the third film in our Fitting Out Walls series. In it, we take a look at the principles involved in designing interior doors. A door serves to temporarily open or close an opening in a wall, as in the case of this detention cell in our Chemnitz police station, where the purpose is to prevent access from one room to another. Another reason for wanting to temporarily close an opening in a wall is to prevent the transmission of sound between two spaces. Doors can also be provided to prevent light, but also fire and smoke, for example, from passing from one room to another. Doors are classified according to the number of leaves and fixed sections they have. On the left, you can see a single leaf door. Next to it is a single leaf door with a fan light, and next to that, a single leaf door with a fixed glazed panel to the side. On the right is a double leaf door. Various other combinations are, of course, also possible, a double leaf door with a fan light, for example. Various elements go to make up a door, and you need to be familiar with a couple of them. The leaf, or door leaf, is the solid vertical part that actually closes the opening in the wall. The frame, or door frame, trims the cut face around the wall opening. It is to this frame that the door leaf is fastened. The rebate, or door rebate, is the rectangular recess cut into the edge of the door leaf that is pressed against the corresponding counter rebate in the frame. A soft plastic weather seal is generally fitted in the rebate to prevent drafts and provide soundproofing. Hinges, or door hinges, are cylinder and pin mechanisms by means of which the door is fastened to the frame. The pins are inserted into the cylinders to enable the door leaf to pivot. The handle, or door handle, is used to draw back the latch bolt so that it's no longer held in the strike plate and the door can be opened. A lock slides a bolt back and forth and so locks and unlocks the door. Door leaves and frames are generally made of wood or composite wood board or steel. These materials can be combined so that you will find all steel and all wood doors, but also doors with a steel frame and wood composite board leaves. In the photograph in the centre here, it's impossible to determine the material from which the door is made. In fact, it comprises a white painted steel frame and a wood composite leaf with a laminated plastic finish. There is a simple and fail-proof way of determining the handing of your door, that is the way in which it opens. When you're standing outside and facing the door, a left-hand door has the hinges on the left-hand side of the door frame and the door handle on the right-hand side of the door. Seen from the other side, the handle is therefore on the left side. It is the position of the hinges on the door frame that are important. This right-hand door is a little more complicated. It's a double-leaf door with a fixed leaf that is normally only opened when bulky items need to be moved through it. Though there are hinges on both sides of the frame, here it is the hinges on the traffic leaf, that is to say the leaf that is used on a regular basis, that's important. Summary. A door serves to temporarily close an opening in a wall and so to prevent the passage of people, but also noise, light, fire and smoke from one room to another. Doors are classified according to the number of leaves and fixed sections they have. The principal components of a door are the door leaf, the door frame, the door rebate, the door hinges and the door handle. Doors are referred to as left-hand or right-hand doors depending on where the hinges are positioned. This determines the direction of opening. Please take a look at the fourth film in our Fitting Out Walls series in which we consider the different types of door frame.